Welcome to pre-math. In this video we have got this blue square and red rectangle. They are put together as you can see in this diagram such that the area of this blue square is 196 centimeter square and one of the side lengths of this red rectangle is 12 centimeter. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, red uh, rectangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, blue square. We know that the area of the square is uh, S square where S represents the side length of the square. Since the area of this blue square has been given to us as 196, 196 could be written as 14 times 14. That means this side length has got to be 14 centimeter. This one is 14 centimeter across the board. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these two triangles. This one and uh, this one we can see that both of these one are right uh, triangle since this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees as well and now let's focus on this uh, shaded triangle let me go ahead and call this angle alpha and this angle i am going to call angle beta and now we can see that alpha and beta are our complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these two angles is equal to 90 degrees. Now we know that this uh, angle is 90 degrees. This angle is alpha. Then this angle has got to be beta since alpha and beta are complementary angles. And now let's look at this blue square. This angle is 90 degrees. This angle is beta. Then this angle has got to be alpha. Now let's focus on this triangle. We know that this angle is alpha. This angle is 90 degrees. Then it's this angle has got to be beta since alpha and beta are complementary angles. Now let's focus on this uh, red rectangle. One of the side lengths of this rectangle is uh, 12 centimeter. Let me go ahead and call this uh, side length uh, x centimeter. So therefore we can see that the length of this red rectangle is x and the width is 12 centimeter. Let me go ahead and label this right triangle. I'm going to label as an A and this uh, triangle I'm going to label as B. Then we can conclude that this uh, triangle A and this uh, triangle B are similar triangles according to angle angle theorem. Then we are going to get the proportions. We are going to write down X divided by this side length 14. Let me just write down X divided by 14 this ratio has got to be equal to the ratio of this 14 divided by this side length 12. Let me write down 14 divided by 12. Now let's go ahead and solve for x. Let me go ahead and remove this fraction by multiplying 14 on both sides. Now we can see this 14 and 14 is gone. So therefore our x value turns out to be if we reduce these fractions we are going to get 49 divided by 3. So thus the value of this x turns out to be 49 divided by 3 centimeter. So thus the side lengths of this uh, red rectangle turns out to be 12 and 49 divided by 3. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, red rectangle. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area equals to length times width. In our case, uh, our length is uh, 49 divided by 3 and the width is 12. So therefore the area of this uh, red rectangle is going to be equal to our length is 49 
divided by 3 and then times 12 and if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us 196 centimeter square and that's the area of this red rectangle so thus the area of this red rectangle turns out to be 196 centimeter square and we can see that both of them have the same area thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye